Hi, I'm Donna Fields, and welcome to CLIL Scaffolding One. This is a series of webinars designed to give you quick, easy, and adaptable scaffolding techniques. Scaffolding is simply transitioning into material more easily through activities and some easy techniques. Today, I'm going to show you how to use scaffolding technique number 20 that you can find in my book, 101 Scaffolding Techniques for Language Teaching and Learning, that's also been translated into Spanish. Today, the objective for this session, and it's always important to share objectives with our students, it helps them feel more empowered and involved, is to show how easy it is to adapt scaffolding technique number 20 to a primary and secondary classroom. We ready? Scaffolding technique number 20, called Finding My Other Half, we use when students need to read some information that may seem easy at first, but it will help them learn the vocabulary, the concepts, and some of the images beforehand. So this book, for instance, is from a lower secondary science class. And again, it may look so easy to you, you may not realize that the students are a little anxious about knowing the vocabulary, about understanding the concepts, and about interpreting the images. So what can we do? Very easy. We take the images from the book and put them on different mini cards. We take the sentences from the book and put them on other mini cards. Easy so far, right? So now there are just four steps. You have the mini cards with the images and the text. I usually do eight to 10 at the same time. Then you cut them up individually. Once they're cut up, you mix them up and give each pair of students a whole set. The students work together to put the images and the text back together. And once they're all back together, they read them aloud. If there are some students who are ahead of others, you can ask them to change the structure of it, use different tenses, anything to keep them using the language. It deepens the learning. So that was for a secondary classroom. Let's try for primary. We're going to use the same technique for primary for art. A lot of art teachers tell me that they're supposed to teach in English, but it's difficult to find things that are meaningful for the students. What's very meaningful is to help them with instructions in English. There's a lot of vocabulary that they can use in other places, and we need them to understand what the instructions are, yes? So these are images and instructions from a whole unit in an art book. We put them on the mini cards, and then we cut them up, just as before. Once they're cut up, we give a set to each pair of students, and they work together to match the image and the instructions. When they have the images and the instructions matched up, you can ask them to read them aloud. Again, read aloud as often as possible so that the language goes deeper into their being. So that's it for today. That was my scaffolding tip for you, technique number 20 for my book, 101 Scaffolding Techniques for the Language Teacher and Learning. And please write to me at my LinkedIn page or Facebook page and tell me what you think of the webinar and what other ideas you'd like. I hope to see you next time. Bye.